So you want to be a racer, huh? Well, the first thing you're going to need is a ship. Here's a list of the ships in order from fast to slow. As you can see, if you have a 350R, you have a little bit of an advantage over everyone. In fact, if you look at all the records, they're done by 350Rs. Now, once you've been able to get the fastest ship you can either afford or have, you're going to need to know the course. This is Old Vanderval, the easiest course in the game. So let's run it real quick. When you're accelerating out of the gate, you're going to want to tap, or hit a th if you have an actual, uh, you know, X52 or some kind of joystick uh, thruster thing, hit that. Right now, you'll see I'm going the way that's designed by the course. The whole point is to go through each one of the gates. This course is pretty long and has some pretty good straightaways, so a max top speed would be very beneficial. Using drifting correctly, you can make turns like this and hit the thruster. And that's how simple this first course is if you want to get last place. Now, here's where it changes. There's shortcuts to this map. And, beyond that, there's tricks to flying, right? So, first, you want to accelerate at full speed. Throughout the entire course, you want to accelerate. Spacebar, or whatever your space break is, you should have bound and use here. Ooh. <laughs> That's a strong space break. <laughs> Let's go back and do that again. Oh, I I'm just realized something. Uh, something that I haven't done in a long time. The actual way that the signs look like you're supposed to go that way, but you're actually supposed to cut right through here for a little bit more speed. And you drop down, and you'll see a little area right here. While you're accelerating, by the way, this is all at full speed. It's kind of hard for me to slow it down. But You come through here, and you hit the next gate. It allows you to skip that entire long section you saw me do earlier. Then you simply move forward. Down. Try to avoid these little poles. You'll see like a lot of little things that stick out. And if you have your settings on low graphics, like I do, you'll see things just pop out of nowhere. See? Ah! Those just came out of nowhere. <laughs> but, uh, you want to hug this as close as you can for the best speed possible. And I usually do this part upside down, but you can do it. flip yourself around and then go through here. One more thing to notice, which I'm not sure if you did, but trees. You can clip directly through trees without them damaging you. So use that to your advantage. We'll do one more lap. See these trees? Clipped right through them. Point. 
Now, when you put your thrusters on, it actually just does your uh, puts extra power output to your turning thrusters. It does not increase your overall max speed. It's good to know. So if you don't want to be doing too much drifting, put power to your extra your thrusters and make the turn as sharp as you need to. Try not to black out. And that is this map. Uh, hope it helps, and good luck racing. I will be doing more videos for the intermediate and advanced map later. Have a nice day.